me ask you uh, <laughs> some facts about uh, your running mate, uh, sure. Governor Sarah Palin. Uh, you continue to defend her. She continues to light up Republican rallies wherever she goes. I, don't, I don't defend her. I praise her. Yeah, right. I don't defend her. Here's the latest. I, she needs no defense. All right. Uh, and here's me, another poll. The same let one. me share you with another poll, if I can. The Washington Post ABC News poll. Uh, and this is what we have to uh, share with our audience here today on that. When she came out of the convention, she had a 59% favorable rating. It's now down to 46%. Unfavorable is up to 51%. This may be the more critical issue for you, and that is independent voters, uh, women voters. Uh, her favorable rating now among them is just 40%. It was 64% right after the convention. And it's uh, now 59 percent. Many people think that she's just simply not qualified to be president. Because. Not qualified because. She's not qualified because she's had a lot of exposure in the last uh, three months or so of vice presidential debate, a number of interviews with people who were selected by your campaign, after all. She's had some of those interviews were quite friendly, not necessarily prosecutorial. And they have come to the conclusion, based on everything that we're seeing, that she's not qualified to be president. Well, I, the, <laughs> first of all, I thought she did fine. In, in the, so did most people in the debate with... Uh, with Senator Biden. She has more executive experience than Senator Biden and, and Senator Obama together. She took on the governor of her own party because she had seen what she thought was corruption. She's been a mayor. She has 24,000 people underneath her. Her husband is a, uh, works the third shift on the oil in the facilities in the North Slope. Is a uh, they, they have a one. She has executive experience and has given back money to the taxpayers. She has taken Democrats as well as Republicans into her administration. It sounds like I'm I'm uh, quote defending her, but the fact is she is a, a dynamic person with executive experience, leadership, reform. She's exactly what Washington needs. I'm so proud of the way she ignites the crowds, the way that she is. Uh, she has conducted herself is, in my view, uh, incredibly admirable. I am. Do we? Does, does Sarah Palin and I disagree on a specific issue? Yeah, because we're both mavericks, but we share the same goal of cleaning up Washington. You think some people? Uh, we will clean up and reform Washington together. And she has the credentials and the vision and the dynamism and the strength to do that. I could not be more proud of her. You know, in politics, that symbols are very powerful. Those pictures sure. of you when you were a prisoner of war in Hanoi have been a very powerful reminder of what you went through. And then in the last 10 days or so, that we've learned that the Republican National Committee spent $150,000 on her wardrobe at Neiman Marcus mm -hmm. and at Saks when she was portraying herself as a hockey mom representing the values of Main Street. Wasn't that a colossal mistake on the part of the RNC? No, look. She lives a frugal life. She and her family are not wealthy. She and her family were thrust into this, and there was some, and some third of that money is given back. The rest will be donated to charity. Uh, Americans right now care about whether they're going to stay in their homes, whether they're going to have a job, whether they're going to be able to keep their health insurance. If we're going to come out of this ditch that we're in, they want change, they want reform. She is a role model to millions and millions and millions of Americans.